tao tuliangalia last last time uh, it was uh, during the time uh, tuliangalia chapter 16 and uh, what we saw uh, is that uh, we need to understand that God is the one providing for us and uh, tunaona in the in the in the wilderness uh, God provided for the Israelites using manna and quail kamba aliwapa mkate na pia kulikuwa na nyama and uh, one important thing that uh, we concluded with last time it was uh, the essence of us and uh, understanding that uh, we need to fix our thoughts only on God and also lastly uh, we need to attain victory in worship because uh, everything was centered within worship that was the most important thing and therefore today there is also something important to know even after God and endelea for provide here still they continue complaining so now uh, just uh, how they they got out of egypt they reached the red sea and uh, because of their own thoughts because of their humanistic ways to now wanaanza to complain and uh, god made a way and they were able to cross the red sea but even after crossing the red sea kuna matatizo mengine tunaona yanatokea they don't have any water to drink and uh, because of that they, they they started to grumble or to, to, to quarrel to moses wakaanza kugombanisha moses they started complaining against god then tunaona that uh, something happens and uh, god gives them a test so that uh, god can be able to show them of how important it is to look upon him then they continue they don't have anything to eat it was uh, like a uh, 45 days after after leaving egypt they don't have anything to eat probably the things that were come carry zimeisha and therefore they, they began to complain again that you got us out of Egypt so that we can be able to die in the wilderness and still God provides for them to show them that they need to look upon him and that's no matter Moses and Amia who am I that you should be able to complain to me i'm just a man and uh, over and over again there is one important thing to know and I'm here that stand firm because you are going to see the salvation that God is going to bring you today and even as they they get the man and, and the quail this is what Moses and Asema that in the evening you are going to know that is God who provides for you and in the morning you are going to see the glory of God so it's not within our standards and therefore the lord is my banner and uh, when you talk about a banner banner ni ni vifurushi ambazo zinawekwa mahali so that you can be able to see it tunapoenda town mara mingi ama hata tunapoenda west tunaona watu wameweka nini vibango ah uh, it's used for advertising kuna mwingine ameweka kubwa kabisa mwingine ameweka kidogo kulingana na fedha ambazo wako nazo hata tunapotaka ku, kujua mahali lazima uulize kuna jina ambao imeandikwa katika duka lako lazima uandike jina so that people can be able to identify themselves with that that is what a banner is and uh, tunaona that uh, as the children of israelite wa continuing on in the wilderness wakapata enemy kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanaishi kule and so they began to attack them and tunaona what moses did he went up the hill and uh, akareze in the staff the staff of aaron akainua juu and inasema that every time alikuwa anainua juu israelites walikuwa na win but wakati alikuwa anachoka anarudisha chini uh, wale enemies walikuwa nafanya nini walikuwa naenda kuwin and therefore tunaona Aaron and the other elder wakafanya nini walibidi wamweke mawe hapa kwa mkono 
naweze kushika mikono yake juu mmoja ashike hii na mwingine akashika hiyo hiyo nyingine so that all the time the israelite wange bakwa wafanya nini wameshinda what is the most important thing that we are able to get from all of this the lord becoming our banner tunaona probably we have been we are not being told that is god aliambia moses but probably god alikuwa ameshaambia nani ameambia moses because uh, when you look in the beginning of exodus anamwambia aje do everything that i command you to to do everything that i command you to do and uh, as inaendelea tunaona the lord anamwambia that write this down on a, on a scroll andika hii chini on a scroll on a, on a stone tablet why because it needs to be eternal lazima iweze kukumbukwa and make sure ana alafu anamwambia and make sure that Joshua hears it because uh, in the previous year verse hapo juu inasema so jo, Joshua leo wa overcome and overcome with a sword and uh, wh- why is the reason why anamwambia andike on a stone tablet so that Joshua sidhanie ni yeye Joshua sidhani ni yeye ame, amefanya waweze kushinda it need to be written on a stone tablet so that even Joshua anaweza kufanya nini anaweza kujua that it's God who did it and therefore why do we experience or what is the the start of disasters what is the beginning of disasters ama matatizo na majanga yanakuja wapi ya kwanza when we do things according to our thoughts when our thoughts become our standard matatizo hayana budi kufanya nini bali kuja genesis chapter 3 that you are going to be like god it sounds right so matatizo yanaanza wapi yanaanza hapa katika mawazo yetu tunapoweka mawazo yetu kukuwa ni msingi wa kila jambo ama kwa kila kwa kila kitu the other thing tunaona nini my plan or my will when we put my will to become our level ikiwa ni level yetu matamanio yangu na matarajio yangu ama kusudio langu la maisha ni nini i want this i want this and uh, when you look at genesis chapter 6 it's the same thing they became corrupted because of what it was only because of their own will it was only a, uh, because of their own own plan so disasters are inevitable to take place and that's why tunaona uh, the flood will become kwa sababu ya nini because of this they are level they became corrupted the last thing is my thing the things the right for say success material prosperity those are, those are my things and therefore it's very very important for us you know all the time when you look at genesis chapter 11 the tower of babel the same thing in a recap vitu vyangu what are my things me center tunapojiweka kwamba sisi ndio uh, msingi wa kila jambo matatizo hayana budi ila fanya nini kutokea and uh, uh, as i was saying when they reach the red sea walipofika pale katika red sea what happened they started grumbling wakaanza kuogopa wakaanza kumwambia Musa kwamba umetuleta hapa diposa tuliwe hakukuwa na makaburi kule Misri diposa umeweza kutuleta hapa but what is the answer that Moses gave 
stand firm and see uh, the deliverance that God is going to bring to you today. Kwamba simamani uh, simamini wima. Na muweze kuangalia na muweze kuona ukombozi ambao Mungu atafanya nini? Ataweza kuwaletea siku ya leo. It's not about me. And therefore, to know that without exception without exception those people ambao wameza kuweka hali yao ama wameza wameza kujiweka kukua ni misingi ya kila jambo hawana budi to be for to, to be able to fall under slavery they don't have it's inevitable for them captives Also wandering. They don't have anywhere to go. They are here and they are there. They don't possess anything. It's exceptional for them. And what am I talking about here? That Satan has enslaved them. That Satan is colonizing their lives. That Satan has made them to become wandering. They are jumping from this point to the other point. They don't have assurance. They don't believe. And that's why to now are the children of Israelite. They were happy when things were happening. Generally, they were having spiritual bipolar. When miracles were happening, they were happy. But when problems were taking place, they began to complain and to, and to grumble. Because of this. It's without exception. Because of what? Our standard is ourselves. And therefore, what is most important for us? What must we be able to really uphold? We must be able to see the plan of God. We think everything. We must be able to see the plan. What is the plan of God? That He can He can provide us salvation. That He can deliver us. And he can redeem us. That is the plan of God. And uh, that is why Moses and Emphasize. Even after they were grumbling, and Amambia, who am I that you should be able to grumble before me? I'm nobody. And because I'm nobody, look upon God. Because he's going to provide deliverance for you. Look upon God. Because he's going to redeem you. And wakati ambapo walipata zile mana na kui, and Amambia aje, that in the morning, or in the evening, Jioni mtaweza kujua kwamba ni Mungu amefanya nini? Ameweza kuwezesha mkaweza kupata mkate ile. Na pia uh, asubuhi mnapoamka mtaweza kuona ukuu wa Mungu katika kila jambo. Because God is always providing for us. God is always with us. And therefore uh into our main thing we need to establish spiritual battle. We need to establish a spiritual battle. Lazima tuweze kufanya nini? Tuweze kukuza vita vya kiroho. We must be able to do that. Why? Because without exception, Satan is always there. And when you look at 1 Peter chapter 5, 7 mpaka 8 Anasema aje, stand firm. Why? Because our enemy, who is the devil, is around us, is following us. Like a lion. Anatunyemelea. Looking for someone to do what? To default. 
anataka kudanganya so that and believe inaweza ingia nini inaweza ingia kati so we need to stand firm we need to establish spiritual battle just as to know the amalekites the first thing that we must be able to look at we need to understand what is the start of spiritual battle how must we be able to start our spiritual battle That is the beginning. Us being able to hold on to what? The word of the word of God. And to know it's the same thing. Moses and Enda Pale Jew. Every time he did as God commanded him, they were winning. Every time he did as God had come and command, but gonna find an inning. Lakini every time alikuwa anachoka mkono inaenda chini the Amalekites were winning and therefore it's very very important the beginning of spiritual battle is us being able to hold on to the word of the word of God the gospel that God had put here that Jesus is the Christ that Jesus is the only solution that Jesus is the only method of God let us clearly hold on to that it doesn't change the method of god is complete it's sufficient talking about the gospel and uh, not only correctly holding on to that word tuweze kushikilia neno la mungu kwa nini the other thing that tunaona is to meditate upon the word we need to meditate upon that word tuweze kumakinika katika neno la Mungu katika neno la Mungu and that's why uh summit site is important that is why quiet time in the morning is very important take your time 5 minutes in the morning have a moment to meditate upon the word of God because it's a moment for us to fix our thoughts with the things of God. Ni fursa ya sisi kufanya nini? Kuweza uh kufanya vitu vya Mungu vikuwe ni vitu. The plan of God, the will of God, the desire of God to become our own. And therefore, all the time Uh, when you look at uh, when you are fighting a battle wakati kuna vita there are strategies ambazo zinawekwa pale the one who follows the strategy and we they have a plan ana tunapoangalia zile ma movies zinakuwa kwenye kwenye tv wanapoenda vitani they have what they have a strategy that strategy they must be able to do what to follow it if they want to succeed our success is we think what the word of the word of god the second thing is that also we need enjoyment after meditating we need enjoyment we must be able to enjoy What must we enjoy? We must be able to enjoy the status that we have received, the identity that we have received. Who are we? That we are children of God. It does not change. No matter what we experience, it does not change. Haibadiliki. If we are children of God, we are children of God through Christ. So it does not change when problems come, it does not change. Why? because God has given us an assurance that he is with us. And when you look at the previous chapter, not the previous but uh, the verse verse 7. Verse 7 na soma hivi and he called the place Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled and because they tested the Lord saying, is the Lord among us or not? Kwamba 
Mungu ako na sisi ama yuko na sisi. Wakati ambapo walikuwa wamepata uhaba wa maji. The sure thing is we need to enjoy this. Our identity. Our status. And also our background. We must enjoy it. We possess it. The second thing. This is the start. What is the strength? The strength of spiritual battle. What is the strength of the spiritual battle? Prayer. Kwamba maombi ndio nguvu ya kivita. Ama roho za nguvu za za kivita. Za kivita. And therefore, we must be able to initiate. Prayer must take place. Think for our prayer. Oh, vita vya kiroho. Mishindo ni mesema nini hapo. Kivita, kivita, na shindo kivita ni gani. So, our strength is within what? It's within prayer. And uh, over and over again, you may say what is prayer? Prayer is a mood of us connecting with God. That is what prayer is. That is what prayer is. Kwamba ni njia ya sisi kufanya nini? Kuweza kuwasiliana na Mungu. And uh over and over again now I'm here. If we unplug that plug for the socket, uh, he projected it as you So, the success or, or the efficiency of this projector is based on what? The source of the power. Pasipo kuwa na moto, haiezifanya kazi. It must always be connected with what? With the power. And therefore, also for us, our efficiency and also our strength is within us connecting with God. Wakati ambako tunafanya nini? Tunaungana na Mungu. Kupitia nini? Kupitia maombi. And I told you uh, like, uh, a few a few uh, months ago what prayer is that we have the stages of prayer. And what are the stages of prayer? Where does it begin? It begins with our thoughts. Hapa, mawazo yetu. Mawazo yetu yako vipi? Ni nini ambacho tumeweza kuchapisha katika mawazo yetu? That is the beginning of prayer. Our mind and also in our hearts. In our souls. Ni nini kimeweza kuchapisha upande? The imprint that we have. That is the beginning of prayer. And uh, to honor the Israelites, because they were imprinted with the old scars, they were imprinted with the old self. That is why all the time they were complaining. Wanini? In Israel, uh, in uh, Egypt, walikuwa slaves. And uh, walikuwa mezoea kuteswa na kudhulumiwa. And therefore, the imprint that they were having is that they always complained. They were always complaining. And tunawana wanachukua hizo imprints wanaenda nazo. Wanatoka nazo Egypt. Wanabuka nazo wilderness. And as jabadilika ziko, ziko vile vile. The imprint that we have. It's very, very important. And that's why, for us, we need to be always thankful all the time. We need to develop a virtue of thanks and skill. Tuweze kuwa watu wafanya nini? Wakurudisha shukurani kila wakati. Katika kila jambo, katika kila hali. In all circumstances. Because of what? 
there is a plan of God in everything. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. It is the plan of God. Kuna mpango wa Mungu katika kila kina jambo. The second stage is us enjoying me. Wakati ambapo tumeweza kuchapisha vitu vya Mungu katika mawazo yetu. Tumeweza kuweka shukurani katika mawazo yetu. Tumeweza kujaza neno la Mungu katika mawazo yetu. Tumeweza kuona mpango wa Mungu katika mawazo yetu. Tunaweza kufurahia kwamba Mungu wako na sisi kila wakati. Kwa hivyo haijalishi. Haijalishi hali ambayo unapitia. Kwa sababu unajua ni Mungu ako na nini? Ako na nini? Na the moment you begin to enjoy that, you are able to see the fulfillment of that. Mungu ataweza kutimiza nini? Ataweza kutimiza hilo. Kwamba utaweza watu wengine wataweza kuona kwamba Mungu ako na wewe. Even without you attesting, they are going to see that God is with you. So it all begins with here. Connect with God. Through prayer. That is the strength. And uh, that's why to know uh, when you look at uh, when you look at Philippians, and I say that do not be anxious. Usi babaike, kusu jambo lolote, but with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your petition to God, and the God is going to do what. It's going to fill you with wisdom and also with peace. Ambao in a surpass all understanding. It's going to guide you in what? In Christ? In Christ Jesus. The second thing is that inside of prayer, we are able to have the spiritual, the spiritual power. We are able to have the spiritual that is the strength. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. That you are going to have power. And through that power, you are going to become what? My witness to the ends of the to the ends of the world. And therefore, it's very important for us. May we be able to initiate prayers in our life. It doesn't matter how little it is. Even if it's five minutes, may prayer take place within our lives. Even if it's three minutes, may it take place within our lives. And we are going to see this. We are going to see the works of 24 taking place. Gradually, gradually, what we connect or what we fix within our thoughts. The, la- the third thing is the goal of the spiritual battle. What was the goal of the spiritual battle? Or what was the goal of fighting the Amalekites? This is what God and our mirror in the last picture. The Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. What are we able to see? Witness. We are seeing the works of mission from generation to generation. That is why they, they, they were able to win. And to now, this is what was written in the stone tablet. For the hands were lifted up to the throne of God. The Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. That is what was written. So, all the time, we must be able to see the goal. What is the goal of the spiritual battle? What is the goal of my life? The first thing, may God open our spiritual eyes. Beginning from our own families. Beginning from our own neighborhoods. 
May we begin from there with the little things that we have. Let us begin from this. Stand as witness. Enter into this. Put prayer. Follow the word of God. And the works of God is going to do what? The works of God is a poor from me. And uh, what are we able to see from there? That inside of this, the work of shining the light takes place. Kwamba nuru ya mungu nafanya nini? Ina ina nga. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu uponyaji unapatikana. Here you take place. We are able to see the rise of summit. And also, we are able to go to the 237 nation. We are able to go. There is nothing that can deal with us. Because God and the party, it's the light. And that is why, to know that I am going write this on a stone tablet. Why? So that even the generation to generation, what are you? They are going to know. The blessing of the throne. The blessing of what? The throne of God. It's not uh, according to our own efforts. It's not according to our own understanding. It's not according to our own strength. The God is going to fight for us. And that is why I say Mahadi. We look, we raise our hands up to the throne of the, the Lord. For we raise the, our hands. To lenua mikono yetu ju. Na mungu wakafanya nini? Waka tupigania. In our conclusion. May the Lord be my God. May the Lord be my, my man. Mtu ambaye naeza inulia mikono ju. Maybe you are one. When problems come, may you lift your hands before God. May you trust before God. In all circumstances, may we always look to stand before God. May we stand before God in all, in all things. That is the Lord becoming my banner. Someone that I look upon. I don't look upon people. I look before God. The answers that God has prepared for us in advance. Why? Because we know. We know the reason. That is why the Lord should be my banner. I know the reason. Even when problems come, I know the reason. There is a plan of God within everything. I know that God is with me. Why do I have strange family? I know the reason. You know the reason why. That is why we need to look upon God in all things. We know the reason. And therefore, because we have a reason, we don't need to look upon any other thing. We need to look upon God in all things. And therefore, known as that inside of this, we are able to have the virtue of winning without fighting. So there is no need for us to fight. Because God has already won for us. Because God is always with us. He's ahead of us. So why should we struggle? Why should we compete? Why should we try to please other people? Fanini. Mungu akonasisi. He is forever with us.
And therefore, as I conclude my final remarks, uh, I just pray that at this moment, uh, may it be a moment for us to hold on to this word. Reflect, what is uh, the word of God today for me? May you enter into a moment of us enjoying the things or the blessing of the throne that you have received. And uh, may this word guide us, not only today, but throughout the week, that we are going to have a virtue of standing before God, following the word of God, connecting with God in prayer, and standing as a witness in the field that we have. A blessing in the name of God. Our dear loving God, we bless you for this wonderful moment. Thank you, Lord, that you have always been with us. You have guided us with your power and also with your might. Continue leading us, God, uh, that, Lord, we may clearly hold on to the word that you have given unto us. May it be imprinted, rooted, and natural, that, Lord, wherever we go, we are going to shine your light to the ends of the world. May you revive, and also may you heal us, Heavenly Father. May you raise the summit and also the disciple among us, Heavenly God, that we may be able uh, to enter fully into uh, your plan and also into your will. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.